Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and the committee. Uh, this is a very charged issue, and um, the stories we've heard today have been very moving. It would be tough not to be moved by them, and you all are to be applauded for being here deep into the day with few breaks and listening to each of us. Uh, I really thank you for that. Um, as you may have noted, I am speaking on, so neither for nor against. I'm not here to tell you how to vote, but simply to convey um, and clarify what the science says. I'm here on behalf of the Austin Institute for the Study of Family and Culture, where I'm the executive director. The bottom line up front, as my military friends like to say, um, is that sex is real. Biological males uh, have certain features of their, uh, of their sex that give them advantages in athletic competition. Biological males are on average five inches taller. They are faster, stronger, with bigger bones, greater muscle mass, larger hearts, larger lungs, greater lung capacity. Um, in early childhood, the differences are, are fairly minimal to the notice. But in puberty, male testosterone surges to 20 times that in females, and, resu and the results from that are permanent physical advantages. 40% uh, more muscle mass, 40% less body fat on average. Um, and those physical, really importantly for this bill, those physical differences remain even after transition. So um, transgender females, for example, there's a study I have here. Males as young as 12 were treated with puberty blockers, followed by hormone treatment at 16, with some opting for gonadectomy at 18. Attained weight was male typical. Body fat was female typical. Lean body mass and grip strength was lower than in reference males and in males transitioning as adults, but still, despite the early intervention, remained far higher than in age-matched referenced females. Uh, the performance gap is 10 to 50 percent, depending on the sport. The same study found that biological advantage is only minimally reduced when testosterone is suppressed. Um, for example, we can see this in athletic competition. There are 9,000 males between the 100-meter record holders, Usain Bolt and Flojo. The current 100-meter Olympic champion, Elaine Thompson, is slower than, than the 14-year-old record-holding boy. At 400 meters, Allison Felix is a world champion, but in 2018, there were 275 male high school boys um, who ran faster and on 783 occasions. In Connecticut, of course, this is, this is pretty well known, uh, transgender girl athletes dominated uh, female uh, competition. Mind you, these are not earned advantages. Biology has gifted males with unfair advantages in physical competitions. And on the whole, the studies in this area confirm that repeatedly. The science suggests that the convention of separating the sexes in athletic competition has very robust data support. Thank you for your testimony. Senator, is there any, any questions for the witness? Thank you for being here.